Hi, welcome to lesson 15 in the series of 8051 microcontroller programming and interfacing. For more information, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. You can also download the source code and web content for this lecture from the website. In this lesson, we will talk about keypad interfacing to the 8051 microcontroller. So the keypad we will be using, it is a 4x4 uh, dot matrix keypad and will have an introduction of that. So keypad plays a critical role uh, when it comes for the interfacing to the user. So from this keyboard or keypad, user can provide uh, sufficient information uh, in order to perform certain tasks uh, through the microcontroller. So let's uh, have a, a brief introduction about the keypad. So the keypad is generally a matrix uh, which contains the buttons, uh, push buttons. So we can think of uh, like uh, suppose we have 4x4 cross keypad. So at this point, all uh, push buttons are connected in such a manner that it creates a connection between a row and a column. So think about like this. So these are the features. Now, if we have connected all these values, uh, that's related. Now, if we connect all these values to a plus 5 power supply uh, and to a resistance and let's connect them. So, if this keypad is not connected, if we read these pins, we will get 111 at here. But now, if we say we have provided a 0 here and if we press this key, we will get 0 here and all the ones there. So this is how we can, uh, this is how a normal this keypad works. Uh, it is 4x4, 4x4 uh, dot matrix keypad. So these are the push buttons connected here. Uh, to the rows and to the columns and so on. So these are columns and these are rows and generally it is connected to a 1k resistance. So these are the rows and these are the columns. So let's have a look on the real keypad, how it is looks like on the interface. Hi, so this is the keypad which will be interfacing to this uh, 8051 microcontroller and these keys are aligned in a column and row wise. So this is a 4x4 keypad matrix. From here we are getting the outputs for, for and these are total 8 pins, 4 pins are for rows and 4 pins are for column. So now let's uh, go through the theoretical lessons of it, how to connect with, with the uh, 8051 microcontroller. So we have seen the real uh, keypad and we have connected the complete keypads to the fourth one. So if we are talking about in this uh, lesson, we will be interfacing 4x4 keypad. That means there will be 4 columns and 4 rows. So suppose if we have this particular row, so we have column number 1, column number 2, column number 2 and column number 3. Similarly, this is row 1, 0, 1, 2 and 3. These are the numbering of the key. Now we want to interface it. So we will connect these, uh, there are total 8 lines are there, so we will connect to the port 1. So these rows are connected to from port 1.0, 1.1, 1.2 and then port 1.1.3. And Similarly, these columns are connected to 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, and in 1.7 so these are the connections now if we talk about the algorithm so listen carefully when no port is connected 
we will no switch is pressed we will read if we read these column lines or these particular things in the port will get all one because it is not connected at all now and we have applied a uh, zero at all the columns for time so when no key is pressed we will get one 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 at all the pins of this of the lines of the column line now as soon as uh, suppose this uh, button is pressed then uh, this particular line will come to zero for this particular column will come to zero so as soon as there is a zero in any column we will understand or we will came to know that okay a specific key has been pressed now we don't know in which row the key has been pressed so we scan once we know a key is pressed we scan all the rows one by one so what we do we first provide zero at single row and put all the ones at other rows and keep uh, keep on repeating to so suppose this particular key is pressed let's take an example this particular key is pressed we'll get zero here because initially all the rows are zero and we'll get all ones there but now we don't know so next step will restart we will first make it zero and we'll make all other uh, values as one so if this is zero and this key is not pressed and this is one so ultimately we will read 1111 again this is uh, different than the original one now we will uh, go to the next sequence and will make it 1 and then 0 and then 1 and 1 so as soon as this is 0 and this key is pressed we will get this much of it so we will come to know like uh, column 2 row 2 so 2 by 2 uh, data number or key has been pressed and corresponding to this 2 by 2 will go into the lookup table and based on the lookup table data whatever data it represents that particular data will be transferred to either lcd or to serial port on whatever on data or whatever action we want to perform from the data so uh, the procedure is simple first read this uh, column and if there is any zero start scanning the rows that's it so i hope you understand it now we will write a program for doing the same so let's open keel and let's create a new project keep a tutorial Keypad. Select the microcontroller. And then get the file and save it. Key dot C. Now add these files and let's change the flash. making create hex file and target value so now we will start writing so first we will write hash include r e g r e g 15 to that and then let's provide the signature for the delay and let's make void main void now let's give um, let's provide a delay function so write a delay function for unsigned entity and that. I can do in the clear. I goes to zero. I is less than two. I plus plus in the four. J goes to zero. J is less than one two seven five, and then J is plus. So this is our delay subroutine. Now, uh, as I say, we use a lookup table 
for providing the data or to match like uh, which particular row is connected or which particular switch is represents uh, which particular number so let's say unsign the keypad we have 4 by 4 matrix so we will define a 4 by 4 array okay, and then we will define the number so let's say we are defining 0 1 2 3 and then 4 in a single row and then next one will start from 4 5 6 7 and 8 the 4 5 6 and it will go up to Okay, it's on. Let's go up to three and setting up to seven, and then eight, nine, and then because uh, ten will not come into these entities, we will write up write A, B, and then C, B, E. And then F. So our array is defined. Then now let's start in uh, <coughs> writing program. So first let's uh, create two uh, <coughs> two variable you know, for row location and column location. Inside that column location and row location. and uh, like uh, column location will uh, uh, store the value like which column has been pressed from which column has been pressed and row location will identify from which row our key has been pressed so suppose 2 by 2 is there that means second column and second row that means this particular key has been pressed so if this key is pressed so corresponding this number will be printed so in order to demonstrate in a hardware we have used a simplest example for LEDs we have connected LEDs so corresponding the ASCII value of the character will be transferred to the LEDs connected at port 2 so now <coughs> first uh, let's uh, uh, because uh, we want to make uh, a port uh, column lines as input so let's make uh, 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 these corresponding lines of the columns to as the input one so this will be given as the uh, as input lines all the uh, ones will be connected to lower four bits of the port zero now uh, we'll run an infinite loop and now within this infinite loop first we will check whether our key has been pressed or not so we will check by uh, reading all the column values only and we will provide our delay so that we <coughs> give some time for the passing. So for location will be equal to uh, simple for zero data will be there because but uh, if we write like this we will be reading the complete port 0 and ok so we have used port 1 here so let's change it to port 1 ok we have used port 1 so if we write like this complete port 1 will be read into column location but our column information is only at the higher bits of the port 1 so we'll do a masking because we want to read only upper eight bits of the data. So we'll do we will make an end, end operation with zero except zero. So if you remember it, masking lower four bits. So by this we will uh, only upper four bits of data will be there in the column location, and then. Uh, we will keep on running uh, doing this one till uh, 
cell column location is equals to equals to 0 x f0 that means uh, because we are reading a port 1 and if no key is pressed we will get 1 1 1 1 that means all the pins are once if no key is pressed so that is why we will be keep running this until uh, we are getting 0 x f0 data because we are masking the lower bit so all the four upper four bits will be 1 1 1 so if no key is pressed we will keep on checking it now as soon as there is a key is pressed like uh, for this case when key is pressed it will upper uh, data will not be 1 1 1 some uh, there will be some zero so it will come out from this loop and then now we will check okay which uh, uh, we, uh, now we will check which uh, particular uh, row line has been pressed now prior to doing it we will make all the rows as zero so that make it again all the rows as zero now uh, we will find uh, which uh, row is being pressed so we will make a loop and then we will check one by one so first we will make first uh, uh, we have identified like a particular a key has been pressed now but we don't know in which row a key has been pressed so now we will make it one a zero one by one so first we will send this data uh, to the uh, to the port c port one and so we will write like port one is equals to zero x uh, f e so if you understand it it is one 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 zero so eight four twelve thirteen fourteen so it is making fourteen numbers so corresponding hex it is corresponding to e and upper four bits will be one so we will send uh, make uh, row zero to ground and all other pins are one so if uh, and now we'll uh, record the data and uh, key 1 and 0 x f 0 again we are recording the column data so if this key is pressed and this one so we will get 0 here and it will not be 1 1 but if this key is not pressed and this is making 0 like this key is pressed and we are making this row 0 and if we will read this one we will get only 1 1 1 there so now we will check column data and if column location is not equals to 0 x f 0 which is the case that means we'll identify like uh, row location 0 1 uh, is there uh, key is pressed on row location because this will be the only case when we'll not get at, uh, any data similarly we will check now we will make another row equals to 0 so px if uh, uh, this condition not satisfied now we will make uh, second row to 0 so it will become fd make row 1 to ground and then again we will uh, read this one complete this data so now if uh, this one again so it will become row one. and similarly now we will make row 2 as 0 so 0 x of b make row 2 to now and then if uh, it is the case get row 2 and if it is even it is not the case then we will make again last row that is f7 make row 3 to ground and then 
all the column location is one one and it will become three. Oh no, there will be no need to provide if else statement because direct it will be three and break. So there could be any one of these cases. If key is pressed, there could be any one of these cases. Right? So as soon as we will come out from the loop, now we know okay which key is pressed and based on that information we will send data uh, to the port to where LEDs are connected. And we will check if column location is equal to 0 x e0 because if uh, suppose this uh, this column uh, we are getting 0 or this key is pressed so we will get 0 in this column so the data read will be 0 1 1 1 and if we convert it into hex code it will come out to be easy so we will make uh, port 2 is equal to because LEDs are connected to port 2 keypad the corresponding row location and the uh, column location else if so again else if if call location is plus to equals to 0 x d0 so we will get p2 equals to pair row location and then call will be 1 otherwise else if zero x b zero then p two will be p pair row location and then second else p two will be simply p pair row location and three so here our code is completed now let's see so here we are checking first we are checking whether uh, our key is being pressed or not while checking all the columns and when a key is pressed now we are scanning the rows and finally we are sending the command so from here right now because we have connected leds to the port 2 in order to display the result you can send uh, you can add the lcd lcd uh, code here in order to display the same uh, on the lcd so now let's compile it so let's open another file which we have already built uh, thing is same the only design uh, is the connections may be wrong uh, so let's go to another one So these are the keys and similar connections have been made for the rows and for the columns. So we press this zero. So this is corresponding to if we count it zero 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 zero. That means zero zero one one zero 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 zero. So it is making the corresponding ASCII code of the zero. And this is for one, for two. 4, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and it is for A, B and other thing. So this is how you can simply connect this uh, keypad to your microcontroller. Now uh, there must be some uh, connect, uh, misconnections uh, in this code, uh, in this diagram because uh, otherwise code is same. So this is how you can uh, interface your keypad 
to the uh, 8051 microcontroller. So now let's uh, burn the program into into the real hardware. Let's connect it. Um, run, connect, and then and then upload. Open hex. Access uh, this one and then upload it. So now the code will be uploaded to the microcontroller and then we will have a look how this controller is working. So let's wait for um, some small duration. So programming is done. Now uh, let's see how the code uh, works on hardware. Okay, so this is the connections which we have made. It looks messy as there are a lot of wires, total 16 wires are there. So this was a keypad which we have, uh, uh, these are the pins of the keypad and which we have connected to the port 0 of this 805 microcontroller and port 2 of this microcontroller is connected to these LEDs which are being shown. So the lower LED, this one shows the lowest bit and this one is the higher one. So as we discussed in the simulation, if we press this key, okay, let's reset it. We press this key, uh, we'll get 0, 0, 1, 0. The hex code, ASCII code corresponding to 0, we press this, this corresponding to 1, corresponding to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 9, 10, 11, and 12. So this is how our code is working. And we also have, uh, okay, I hope this is visible, but okay, this LCD is not visible. So now you have seen how the course work on RA and it was working fine. We have also did some small changes and we created an another program in which uh, uh, we are transferring the uh, particular key to the LCD. So let's have a look on the code. Uh, go to a project, so open project. So here we just have the LCD interface in which uh, we have just learned in the previous lesson, in lesson 11 more specifically. So that particular code has been interfaced here with the same like LCD data and LCD command and just here where we were transferring the keypad, uh, interfacing the keypad, the corresponding LCD uh, uh, commands for sending the data to this phone LCD has been added here. Now uh, we have additional functionality. These last four, uh, four rows of this keypad are acting as a command. This one, that means 3x3 three three, is acting clear display. It's shift display left, right, it's shift display left, and it's shift display uh, to the uh, second line. And we 
I discriminate between these two like whether we need to send data or command okay so if row location is 3 we send command as in as mentioned in the uh, uh, lookup table and if uh, row location is not 3 we simply send the data so let's have a look how this code is working uh, on our simulation so we have also created a simulation here So we have connected this LCD and these are the keypads here which are connected to it and let's run it. So we press this 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8, 9, 10, 11. So if we press this all data is clear and we press this it will go to next line and then we can Test data and we press this is will cursor will shift right and if we press this we can uh, we press this again we can change the value so this is how we can interface the LCD with keypad as well so all these files are available on inter on our website at www.jcbrlabs.org and you can also download the same and you can try by yourself so I hope from this lesson you will learn how to interface keypad with the microcontroller and how to interface, how to also show the complete data of this keypad onto the LCD screen. So that's it for this video. Thank you.